I'm in the Samana Peninsula in the Dominican Republic. I'm here to show you the colorful world hidden underwater, Oscar beaches, but also the wilder side of this Caribbean island. I start my trip from Playa Rincon, at the tip of the peninsula. Surrounded by white sand, turquoise water and coconut trees, it feels like a lost paradise. It's ranked as one of the top 10 most beautiful beaches in the world. The almost intact tropical nature of this part of the island has preserved a spectacularly rich underwater wildlife. I need to see it with my own eyes. This region has plenty of spots for the best snorkeling. Aquí es un sitio que tenemos diferente de variedad de peces y está un poco reservado porque no hay tantos teles, que no hay basura en el mar. Eso es muy importante. The reef is rich with corals, sponges, sea urchins, and all sorts of colorful fish. And one of my favorites, the turbot. And if you come here between January and March, you can also observe some really huge sea creatures. Aquí llegan las ballenas jorobadas. Ellas vienen a, a reproducirse. Ellas vienen a parir aquí. Ellas tienen el bebé. Ellas duran tres meses aquí, disfrutando de ellas, brincando, saltando, cuidando el bebé. Y vienen muchos turistas también a mirar de la ballena. I've been told that there's a place where I must go to try the most traditional Dominican cuisine, and it's right there. Cayo Levantado, reachable by boat, is a tiny island which lies just a few kilometers from the mainland. With its white powdery sand and crystal clear water, it's ideal for relaxing under the sun, snorkeling or swimming, or to enjoy a local dish in one of the restaurants on the beach. Food in the Dominican Republic reflects the country's African, European and native Taino Indian influences. And there's a fruit here that you have to try, coconut. It's one of the two main ingredients of the most traditional dish, pescado con coco. El coco es indispensable en nuestra cocina dominicana. Con el coco no se despierta nada, porque por ejemplo, con la 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 primera el caparazón se utiliza para para cocinar. Con la segunda concha la usan para artesanía. Con el coco para muchas cocciones y el agua de coco nos tomamos y hacemos bebidas con la misma. A secret of this recipe, as you can see, is to add coconut milk where the fish is sliced to absorb its flavor. Mmm, huele muy bueno. <laughs> In less than 15 minutes, my fish is ready. Mmm. Me gusta mucho como se casa el salado del pescado con el dulce del coco. coco sí, claro es perfecto. Sí. La unión de los dos sabores es fenomenal. The Samana Peninsula is also the greenest region of the country. It's crisscrossed from east to west by the Sierra de Samana, a mountain range that makes a remarkable contribution to the region's charm. Its slopes are home to an astonishing variety of lush vegetation, from papaya and cocoa to mango and coffee trees. And to unbelievable hidden gems, reachable only by foot or on horseback, Champion is my guide today. Getting to a limon waterfall is an experience in itself. The adventurous three-kilometer path descends through thick jungle. Vamos, champion. Woo! That's not easy at all. Eh? From the ranch, it's only a 30 minutes by horse or on foot to reach our destination. This place is mind-blowing. You have to see it. The Salto in Limon is 40 meters high with powerful jets of water that pour into an emerald green natural pool. Visitors can enjoy a refreshing swim or be enchanted by the beauty of the surrounding nature. All good things must come to an end, but I can say that during this unforgettable trip to the wildest side of the Dominican Republic, I enjoyed the best part of the underwater world and of what? Isabel. <laughs>